The discovery of lysosomes in the late 1940s was so important that its discovery actually won a Nobel Prize in 1974 for physiology and medicine. But the question then was, what does this bag of hydrolytic enzymes do? So that's what lysosomes are. They are ves you know, essentially bags of membrane, kind of like a vesicle, but that stick around and contain hydrolases. So as you watch this video, you're gonna be looking at membranes. So that's talking about the phospholipid bilayer. Hydrolases, I'm gonna show as red dots, so those hydrolytic enzymes. Anything in orange, um, that's a solid line is going to be stuff that's getting digested and then when you just see the purple dots those are the recycled monomers of whatever biological molecule was digested. So hydrolases are produced in the rough ER and then they make their way through the ER to the smooth ER where they butt off in a vesicle and that vesicle travels through the endomembrane system to the Golgi and the Golgi bodies sort and package those hydrolytic enzymes. Obviously it wants to keep them contained and so they go into their own vesicle and that is a primary lysosome. Now a primary lysosome is involved in a couple of different processes. It can be involved in autophagy or heterophagy, so literally self-eating or non-self-eating. In heterophagy Especially this happens like with white blood cells that do a lot of phagocytosis. So you're going to you extend out that cell membrane to engulf something for digestion and pull it in in a phagosome. And then you'd combine a lysosome with that phagosome to make what we possibly refer to or probably refer to as a secondary lysosome. But that's a temporary structure you're going to use those hydrolases, they break down the, you know, whatever food or bacteria was engulfed and breaks them down into their, you know, constituent monomers. And then little proteins in the membrane called permeases are going to let the recycled monomers out. And then the hydrolytic enzymes remain inside, they might be neutralized, they might be recycled to use again. In autophagy, you have things within the cell that need to be digested, but you can't just unleash the hydrolytic enzymes on those things. They could digest anything in the cell. And so you have to assemble membrane that makes, we call it a phagopore or a phagopore, and that engulfs and encircles the bits of the cell that need to be digested. And it's a double phospholipid bilayer, kind of like the nucleus. And so that is contained now when the lysosome, that autophagosome, when the lysosome fuses with it, this is what we call a secondary lysosome. And it's going to actually break down the inner membrane once it fuses and then break down those bits of old cell. And then again, the permeases will release the recycled monomers. And so in that way, the cell is able to take damaged organelles, things it doesn't use anymore, and recycle the phospholipids and amino acids and DNA, whatever is in that molecule, get the nucleotides out of it and release those into the cytosol for use by the cell for other things. So that's lysosomes, definitely my favorite organelle, very, very cool. And so we refer to them as secondary lysosomes when they're being used to digest things. Um, primary lysosomes are those lysosomes that are fresh from the Golgi and ready to digest things.